<laughs> it's so sad. It is. It's so sad. Next one. Next one. This is carpet. Dio. So it's Aladdin. Whoa! No. Total domination! I am the master of attic stuff, many golf. All right. We're back now. Yep. And we are still talking about Gravity Falls. We are on episode 16, uh, Carpet Diem. Let's talk about that. All right. What did you think of it? It was good. Yeah? How'd you like it compared to the last episode? I'd say they're about the same. About the same? Yeah. That's fair. It was funny. Uh, going back to this episode, because I feel, I just realized I haven't talked a lot about what it's like rewatching these episodes. Um, that's because I didn't have a lot to say about them. And I think this episode had, like, a couple, like, little things in it that, like, stu uh, stood out to me that I forgot, I think, were in this specific episode. Um, so there was, like, some little stuff that you would I would say the thing that sounded interesting was, like, Experiment 78, and I'm like, yeah, that, I'm like, okay. Right, that seems to be, like, hinting at something, like, yeah, bigger, maybe. Um, just, like, Experiment 626, and they made that whole series about Lilo and Stitch. Um, that was did you watch the, the Lilo and Stitch? I did. It series? wasn't that bad. It really wasn't that bad. Um, I really enjoyed. Well, because like it was like a TV show based around a movie mm -hmm. that like where they had actually a premise. Right. It wasn't just like oh we're gonna dick around. It's like no 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 here's an actual premise. Right. So that one. I think that I wasn't bad. I show. think I enjoyed that more than the movie. <laughs> really? I don't remember the movie that well. Oh, the movie's oh the movie's fantastic. I don't remember Lilo it that well. Stitch is a wonderful movie. I'm Girl, not saying. I think I've only seen it once. Oh, yeah, you'll have to go watch it again, because it's, I think, you know, there's more things to appreciate. Listen, do I relate to Lilo too much? Probably. Listen, she was, Lilo was peak weird girl, and I appreciate that. I do. She was so weird. Also, I wanted a dog like Stitch. You want a talking dog? Hi. Stitch, Stitch was so Hi. cute. He was cute, except when he was a creepy alien. No, he, a said, he just had extra arms. It's fine. <laughs> Some people just have extra arms. Get over it. Um, so... We're Carpe Diem. I guess we should maybe start off with one of those synopsis dealies before we sure. get into it. Oh, my head! It hit me right in the head! <laughs> yes, stand shot! Is that legal? The judges say it's out of bounds. You're out of bounds! Hey, <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> hey Dipper. I got yeah, a we'll of candy and grinded tonight. So we open up. We're in the attic of the Mystery Shack where uh, Dipper Mabel live they dwell and they have uh attic stuff mini golf which is they just took a bunch of stuff and made a mini golf game out of it mm -hmm. which is great um so they're playing you know they <laughs> pretty sure they break a window at some point it's almost time though they have to end it because mabel is having a sleepover mm -hmm. and i think is this the first time we've seen uh candy and grenda since no they were in the episode? halloween episode yes they were in the summerween episode um so they're back they, you know, and it's a sleepover. They're having a sleepover and doing like, you know, girl stuff. Yeah, like at sleepovers with girl stuff. Yeah. Do TV shows not really get, I mean, this is probably like most accurate, but like I feel like TV shows, like they think it's like the mysterious world of a little girl slumber party. Mm -hmm. It's not the mysterious. It's really not. I, most, most of the time we, play, we played video games. I'm not sure you and your friends. We watch Goosebumps. Oh, Yeah. Played, like, video games, like, watch. I remember, movies. actually, I had, like, you know, like, how American Girl would, like, make those, like, weird, like, books about, like, random stuff? Yeah. So I had one that was, like, party ideas. Like, one, there was, like, a spa one, and, like, a scrapbook oh. one, and, like, a, yeah. and, like, they gave you, like, food to watch, like, a movie suggestion. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think I did one for one year of my birthday. It was, like, the spa one, I think I did. Mm -hmm. I think it was, like, a spa one, a scrapbook one, like, other, I don't remember the rest of them, but, like. I really like those American Girl books, actually. They were cute. I still don't have many. I have, because I had a couple of the dolls, like, I read those. Mm-hmm. But, uh, because... Oh, I read... Well, I read all of the, um, like, the historical ones up until, you know, I was, like, 2000. What are you... I mean, the dolls... Did you... You didn't get all the dolls, right? Didn't... I, no, I own two. Me too. How many... Which ones? No, I own three. Well, I own two, oh. two of the historical ones, and then one from that was, like, one of, like, the modern ones. I had, like, a My Twin doll, which I don't know if that's American Girl, but I think it's, like, related. Um, yeah, it's a different company. Oh, okay. I also had a My Twin doll. I did. She's still upstairs. Yeah. But then I had I had Molly and Kaya. Oh, yeah. And then my sister had Kit. I had um, Felicity and Addie. So. And then did you just watch any of the movies? I saw... Which movie did I watch? I watched the Samantha movie. I saw the Felicity I I saw one. The you know the Felicity Molly. one, Shailene Woodley? 
Yeah, I didn't actually watch the Felicity one. I didn't get to see it. I think they're, like, actually pretty interesting because actually fairly historically accurate. Like, they have this whole, like, in the Felicity one because it's, like, Revolutionary War. Yeah. They have a whole conversation about, like, a patriot and a loyalist. Hmm. Nice. Well, in the books, they did that stuff, too. Yeah, they, they were actually good for, like, teaching history. I don't yeah. remember any of it, but, like, they were good for that. I also, I liked Kirsten because we had the same hair, and I appreciated that. She was, she was Swedish. <laughs> she was Swedish. Yeah. Gravity Falls. Um. Anyway, <laughs> like, any, the, the real plug here is that American Girl was good, y'all. I mean, the dolls, like, did you ever go to the girl doll place in New York? Yeah, that was, like, that my was big fun. birthday present one year. Oh, I remember, because, like, my school actually did this thing of, like, uh, America, we did like the fourth graders got an American Girl doll tea party. I oh, forget if you had to like yeah. read a book, but like literally, like you would like bring your doll with you and then you got like a nice like tea party and like, and then they had to make up something for the boys because like the boys didn't get anything. <laughs> so they made up like a sports thing with them. So they had to read a sports book and then they had to, I think it maybe had to write a report. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. But like, American Girl was better. You learn like history and stuff. I'm surprised. Like, yeah, the, but they, they were, they have like some good new dolls now too. Yeah. Like, uh, I think they have a couple, like, ones from, like, this set. Because, like, Molly was, like, the the youngest, like, year-wise. Like, the, like the, most, the most, like, modern of them. Of was Molly. Ones. And then they added, like, some, like, 60s and 70s. And now it's like, oh, wow, I feel old now. <laughs> I think Molly was my favorite because we had the same color hair and I wanted glasses. Like, she had the pigtail. Oh, yeah. It's so, it's so funny how, like, you found as the, kids you, like, relate to, to you Relate to one of them. That's the one you want. Yeah. Um, I liked I liked Addie, though, because, well, it's funny. Um, well, Addie's story was, like, Sue. I was like, this is a very interesting story. But then, because uh, she was the one. Yeah. Like, yeah. Civil War and, like. Yeah, Civil War. Like, like her book was, like, she's, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then they go to Philadelphia. And it was funny, because at the time, um, we weren't, we were living at a state. But I was like, oh, this is the place my family is from. So I think that's, like, super interesting. So, like, that's, like, something I thought was really cool. <laughs> we keep talking about this. I'm like, this is probably good for a random episode. Of it, I know, I know. But we're keeping it in this episode damn it it's fine Gravity american girl um so this is bad we didn't even get through the first paragraph of this episode this is so bad how much time are we at oh my god <laughs> so y'all um we've been talking for a long time and we wait like none of this episode is gravity falls and i am so sorry except i am not sorry at all i think we're getting better at podcasting because instead of just like having the plot we're actually talking <laughs> <laughs> but at least we're talking about stuff. I have to edit this episode, so <laughs> sucks. I'm excited. This is fun. I like sucks. it. I like editing great content. <laughs> yeah, and hey, all we produce is great content. I'm just saying. Anyway, I don't know. So, our first, um, our first few episodes. <laughs> Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls. Uh, so sleepovers. So uh, <laughs> they're not that interesting, boys. If you're wondering, they're not that interesting. They really weren't. I think it was, sometimes we stay up late and then just talk about you know like existential crises. Um, it was we had fun. So and like sleep bags aren't even that comfortable. No, no. Oh, I that's why like overnight camp was like if you went for a long time was slightly better because you got a bed. Yeah. No, it wasn't a comfortable bed, mm-hmm. but it was a bed. Right. <laughs> Um, so they they have their uh, sleepover and Dipper isn't having a great time because they're you know they're like squealing and like well, first, having fun. I have a point about this, and I think yeah. part of it's actually Mabel's fault. Like if you're gonna like if you share a room with like your brother mm-hmm. and like you say, hey, I'm gonna ha-, you need to tell your brother that you're gonna have your friend sleep over so that he can move. Also, like Dipper, like you can, you don't have to sleep in there. You can like go somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Like it's a plan. Right. Also, how come Dipper doesn't have any friends? <laughs> Because he's too obsessed with Wendy to go out and make friends. That's true. That's his fault. I mean, it's, that's, that sounds like a 12-year-old, though. It's like, and, I could have... He's so... Yeah, he's so obsessed with, like, either Mysteries or Wendy that he doesn't actually make time. Are you saying friends. he's a 12-year-old boy? He's a 12-year-old boy. Also, Mia is 12-year-old. Not very dissimilar, because I was like, oh, mystery. I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> friends, we have to make those at some point. Um, we have to make Mysteries? We have to make friends instead of looking up, uh, talking about mysteries, which was a lesson that took me a while to learn. Um, <laughs> I relate to Dipper sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah, Dipper isn't thrilled about uh, Mabel having these sleepovers because he can't sleep. Apparently it's happening more often than, like, also, why is it always at Mabel's house? Why isn't it at Cause, okay, cause Grenda and sh- Candy's house? Because the mystery shack is cool. It's not, it's not that cool. It's kind of decrepit. Yeah, but it's, like, in a cool way. Mm. Um, also, where, they didn't have many snacks. That was my concern. That's true. They needed, like, maximum snacking. Or, like, a TV to watch, um, like, to watch movies. Right. They had DVDs, but they didn't have a TV. 
That's true. But they did have uh, adult romance novels. Mm. Different. Smear makeup on my face. Oh, you're already so beautiful, Grenda. What would be the point? Beautiful. Dipper, Dipper, hey, go on. Do you think you could do this somewhere else? You're laughing at frequencies only dogs should hear. Come on, it's not that bad. You know what your brother needs? <gasps> A makeover? <laughs> do it! Ah! Um, so, yeah, Dipper is trying to find a place to, you know, sleep. sleep uh, but there's not really a lot of places in the shack that in, that are safe for a child <laughs> to spend time you in. You could have slept like on the couch. Break room. Uh, you could have. I don't know. Yeah, what's up with the couch? You got to slept on that. But it sleeps outside, which... You just pro- sleep outside, and then uh, a wolf starts gnawing on them, and then it's somehow still better than the sleepover. So Dipper kind of uh, confronts Mabel about, you know, how she has a lot of sleepovers, and um, they kind of fight about it, and then they say, well, maybe we should just stay in separate rooms well it's kind of tough when you have to like share a room with somebody did you i don't know like did you have to share a room with your brother like not like i guess it's like in, like weirder for like a brother and a sister to share a room at one point like when your kids it's fine but when you get older it's, that's kind of iffy mm-hmm. um i'm trying to think like i never sh- like the only time i ever shared a room with my sister was like if somebody else was over and like right they had to take a room but for the most part like me and my sister always had separate rooms yeah not like long term i've never had to do it no because i think when we um yeah, because I think because we would occasionally go up to stay at my grandparents' place, but they had a, they had a couple different rooms, so I think we didn't usually have to do that. Yeah. Um, so now I'm like thinking, I'm like, I don't think we are, not for long periods of time at least. Um, but yeah, so they they kind of decide, okay, maybe we need to um, find different rooms, mm-hmm. and you can tell they're they're not like super thrilled about that, but that's kind of where it has come to at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, so. So they they talk to Stan about it, and Stan says, there's not enough room to have a second room. And then uh, Seuss reveals, hey, I just found a secret room. <laughs> Dudes, I found some kind of secret hidden room in the shack. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so I was cleaning up behind this bookcase, when boom! Wait, is that the secret door. room? This old shack is full of no. weird secrets. You sure? <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> Classy. Thank is it July 4th? Too. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Experiment 78. Uh-oh. So there's this um, room somewhere hidden in the, the mystery shack. And it's kind was... of just like a room. It's nothing. Yeah, well, it has like this very ornate door to it, mm-hmm. which is interesting. And they go in, and it seems just like a regular room, but it hasn't been open in a long time. Um, we notice when we walk in that the calendar on the wall it's uh 1982 is, i think it's july 4th 1982 mm-hmm. so which is exactly 30 years prior to the start of this series because this series takes place yeah, in 2012 yeah. um so yeah it doesn't seem does like- that mean something happened in 1982 maybe so yes and you're just not gonna tell me yet <laughs> Well, what's the fun if I do? Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, so, but it is kind of, it's interesting. Right? Yeah. Like exactly what could have happened 30 years ago. Uh, who knows? But the room is interesting because it's like a regular room. It's, yeah. It seems fine. There's a nice carpet. It's mm-hmm. fine. There is a, yeah. It's, the, the carpet is fine. So Stan decides that he's going to take advantage of the situation because he has the one key for it. So um, whoever gets enough suck up points gets to get the room. I'm kind of wondering why does it matter who gets the room? Because, like, no, they don't complain about the attic as a room. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of, why does it matter who gets what room? Um, I th- yeah. Because it's the, the, I think they think the room looks cool, and it's, like, a secret room. Like, who doesn't want a cool That's secret true. hidden room? It's, I think it's just, like, it's a new and different thing. Yeah, so yeah. they're like, ah, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> Trying too hard. Minus 15 suck-up points. What? Good decision, Ten for Gryffindor. Thing. Trying way too hard. Plus 50 suck-up points. <laughs> now, who wants to retile the roof in searing 105-degree heat? <laughs> me, me, I'll do it. No, Zipper, Zipper, here. <laughs> ah, Stan, no. you're a good uncle. <laughs> Dipper, you're phoning it in. Man, that's refreshing. Ten suck-up points for this lemonade. So, they have to start doing a bunch of like chores and stuff to try to get on stan's good side so mm-hmm. he'll give them the, the key to the room um when they go back into the room they kind of start arguing 
And they're walking across this carpet. It's like, and it's apparently magic or science. Some kind of science carpet. It could show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Splendid. Tell me, princess. Who's excited for the live action movie? Nobody is. That's true. Will Smith is too blue. No, but Um, he's normal in some parts. In some parts. Yeah. I keep wondering, like, why people are so upset about that, because... It just looked weird. It looked weird, but, like, I feel like if you need somebody to replace the genie, like, Will Smith's charming enough to do it. No, I think Will Smith was a great choice yeah. for the role, because he he'll, he'll do it differently, and I think he'll have a really good take on it. But, like, just the weird CGI was, it was weird. The it visual was, part was strange. That was... Yeah, I agree. Um, So, as they're walking around this carpet, the static electricity is building, and then when they touch, something happens, and then suddenly... They're in each other's bodies. Is it cooler than the other one? I'm like a suck up ninja. This one's as good as mine. You might as well give up. I. What do you say? I say I'm gonna win this room somehow. And when I do, I'll finally have my own space, and we'll never have to share anything ever again. Ah! Ugh. What? Oh. (laughs) Dipper, why are you wearing my clothes? Yes. And my face. Am I in your body? Yeah. And it's weird. That was weird. They kind of freak out a lot. Do you ever, like, notice this with, like, cartoons and, like, live action switching bodies, which is just, like, mostly with, like, live action when they switch bodies, Mm -hmm. the the actor just has to act differently, but it's still, like, their voice. Mm -hmm. And then with cartoons, they just switch the voice. Yeah. Yeah. Which is I remember, did they do the cartoons where they just keep the voice and the person has to act differently? I don't know. I was thinking that. And I've tried to think that. And anytime I remember there being, like, body switching, they always switch the voice. Probably because for record, you know. To be able to recognize, but um, I think the only time I ever saw him like a live action with a switch of the voice was that Scooby Doo movie. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, yeah, and that was only for a short period of time though. Well, there was like the one point, like like in this episode near the end, where, like they all have to they all switch around at one point. Yeah, right. That movie was weird. The Scooby Doo movie. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was. Because like there was actual magic. Oh right. Which yeah. isn't Scooby Doo. No. Scooby Doo is not real magic. Sometimes. Oh yeah, there was that one episode where they all got hypnotized. Not all of them. Daphne and Shaggy, like normal. Just, you know, those guys. Um, anyway. So they, uh, I love the reaction to them getting body switched because it's just absolute and total horror. Yeah. Uh, and they don't really downplay it. They're not just like, oh, I'm in your body, you're in my body. It's like, oh my God, I'm in a different body. This is terrifying. Yeah. Um, and I kind of really love how much they, they put into them freaking out about it. Uh, so they, they start, they like take a closer look at the carpet and the carpet is um, titled Experiment 78, an electron. I think it's electron carpet or something. Yeah. Electron something. Why doesn't it say it on here? I don't know. So it seems like this, uh, it was intended, some kind of science experiment instead of being like a paranormal thing um, that this would do its thing. So, you know, there's something kind of weird. That's also like strange dates of like Colsey High, which I never explained to you when I mentioned it earlier. No, yeah. Please explain this to that, me. Okay, so it was like a, it was on Discovery, it was a Canadian show, it was on Discovery Kids, mm-hmm. so it was like educational. Yeah. But the point of it is that you had this boarding school and um, there was like a lab nearby that like blew up in, in like the 80s. Mm-hmm. And so somehow it like affected the school and there was like a wormhole in the school and it kind of like, so like weird stuff happens and it teaches you about science. Mm-hmm. But there's actually this one episode where like these like, this, like, football guy, like, this nerd guy who, like, were both involved in science class because they were the ones who focused on that. They, like, had electro things and they put, and they, like, just, like, hit it on one of each other, each of their things, and they switched bodies. Ooh. And it was interesting because, like, they both had a crush on the same girl and one of the nerdy guy had to do, like, a scene with the girl, but then they switched bodies, so then the cool guy was actually doing it in the nerd body and then they kissed and it was weird. Oh. That's actually a good oh. show. I like that show. Oh, huh. interesting. Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls. So Dipper and Mabel, once they are finished freaking out, they figure out that they could easily switch back or, or they could sabotage each other and treat Stan so horribly that he has to give the um, key to someone else. And then when they switch back, then they would have the room. You know what I also love? What? They don't even try to intimidate the other person's voice. <laughs> right. <they're laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't even try. Um they're really bad at being the other person, which is really funny. Hey, Uncle Stan, your face looks like a butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> Breaking stuff is so much fun. I am Dipper and I see. <laughs> Mabel's gone bananas. <laughs> Bing. Sound. <laughs> Balow. <laughs> well, I love it. This is getting weird. <laughs> Wait, are you going to dock Mabel points? Dipper should lose all his points. Just start basically messing with Stan, and Stan's not a huge fan of it. Um, but while that's happening... 
uh, Seuss is in the room. He's kind of cleaning up. Waddles is there as well. And Seuss wonders what it would be like to be a pig and then decides to give Waddles a little pet. And then uh, he's in Waddles' body now. So he's kind of he's kind of cool with that, and he's like, "Cool, I'm in a pig's body. Let's go have fun with that." And then, but meanwhile, Waddles just kind of like Waddles in Seuss's body, and he's just <laughs> he's, he doesn't really know how to adjust to being in a human body. No, which is very interesting uh, and funny, and he kind of gets himself into some trouble there. Um, so that's that happens. Waddles, oh no! Waddles, you got it good, bro. No, you got no worries. I mean, nobody thinks it's cute when I lie naked on the living room floor. <laughs> I wish I could be a pig. <laughs> yeah, I should do out loud wishing more often. <laughs> While uh, Dipper May Bowler are having fun being one another's uh, bodies, uh, it's time for another sleepover. So Candy and Grenda. It's been a day. You can't have more than. I know. Like, I've never, like, I don't even know if I've ever, like, I don't think I've ever done a thing where I had, like, two sleepovers in, like, one weekend. Mm Mm-hmm. That's, like, a lot. And I also hated having sleepovers from, like, Saturday to Sunday. Mm -hmm. Because then you knew the next day to go to school. So I always, like, like to go to sleepovers on, like, Friday to Saturday. Because then you knew you had another day to just, like, chill. That's true. Like, every time I tried to have a sleepover, I made sure it was a Friday. Nice. Like, even though you had school that day, but it's like, eh, who cares? Right. Uh, now I can't do that. Because I just get really tired and... If I go to work, I'm tired at like nine o'clock. Um, That's anyway. why I gotta go to bed early. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I think I, I think I need to learn how to like be able to like fully, fully survive on like five hours of sleep because I can't do that yet. Right. Yeah. I, I know I was really good with being like surviving on little sleep in college, and then I got out of college and I can't do it anymore, <laughs> which makes me sad. Just drink more coffee. It's fine. I don't drink coffee. What do you drink to wake up then? I nothing. That's not drink some <laughs> drink tea. Drink something. I don't like tea either. Um, <sighs> That's why I only drink coffee. Yeah, I'm not a big coffee person. It's just not my thing. I like coffee. Um, so, uh, Dipper, is, as Mabel is kidnapped for this sleepover, um, Dipper doesn't seem to be a huge fan of it, and. Uh, Mabel, as Dipper, is trying to kind of spy on them because she kind of wants to be in on the fun because it seems like they're doing fun stuff. But Stan! Um, Stan spots it. He's like, oh, you're at that creepy age where you like, want to creep on girls, basically. And so he pulls um, Mabel, as Dipper, aside uh, and gives, gives her the talk. Gerard is just so fierce. <laughs> What's going on, Dipper? <gasps> ah, you're at that creepy age where you spy on girls, huh? Guess it's time you and me had a man-to-man talk. Nah. About the birds and the bees, you know? <laughs> I, I should really be good. No way out of it. Look, it all begins with this little fella. The pituitary gland. Mm-hmm. He may be little, but he has big plans. Oh, no. And um, there's there's a book. I'm not sure if you noticed. There was a bunch of letters under the one picture. And those, that's like a code. And the code goes, um, puberty is the greatest mystery of all. Also, go outside and make friends. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is funny. You know what I was wondering with like these, like, in, uh, what are they called? Pictograph? Not pictograph. Like cryptograms. Cryptograms. Like, did they ever just like, like write something that was like actually incredibly inappropriate? <laughs> they would not be able to get away with that. How do you know? Like, if, they, if they're really subtle about it. Uh, they'd probably get in a lot of trouble, I'd imagine, if it came out. Like, none of them was just kind of like, fuck you, somebody. <laughs> just a bunch of swear words. Um, so, uh... I mean, SpongeBob got away with that. Remember that episode? What episode? Uh, I forgot the name of it, but it was an episode where, like, Patrick and SpongeBob are, like, saying bad words, but every time I sound like a dolphin. Oh, yeah. So it's like, crabs is, uh, good for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was funny. Anyway, grab me um, calls. So, um, after Stan gives Mabel the talk, she is scarred for life, um, basically. We all were. But she, um, so she starts trying to quickly sabotage a dipper and kind of starts telling Stan off. Um, but Stan actually respects that. So then... He, he, he's, it seems like he's been waiting for Dipper to kind of stand up for himself. And uh, he's... You know, because he really doesn't most of the time. Right, right. I always find it find it interesting. I always feel like there's a lot of um in this show. There's way more um Stan Mabel scenes than there are Dipper and Stan scenes, and I always find that very interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, because it seems like they have way more kind of developed 
um, relationship than um, Dipper and Sandu, which I always find interesting. Mm. So, um, yeah, so uh, Dipper, well, Maple as Dipper has the key now. Um, and, but she realizes, she's like, hey, I'm just going to hang on to this because if we don't switch back, like, it's still mine. So, ha. Huh. Um, then Mabel concocts a Dipper. Ooh, Mabel, Dipper as Mabel. This is, gets confusing. Uh, concocts a plan where she convinces uh, Candy and Grenda to give um, Dipper a, a makeover. Mm-hmm. And so they get, they all go to the room um, and just start messing things up. I mean, Mabel? <sighs> How am I ever going to get in there? Hmm. Kevin, for the last time, I am not interested. How could God. you say that to Kevin? Hey, girls. Who wants to give my brother a makeover? <gasps> <laughs> and then they end up all switching bodies because they're on the rug. Yeah. And all the things are getting all kind of mixed up. So, and then it gets even crazier um, when... Seuss, uh, Waddles, and the cops. I always forget how the and cops And Old Man McGucket. Oh, yeah, Old Man McGucket. Because um, Seuss almost gets eaten by Old Man McGucket because he's crazy. But he's wanted a raw pig. <laughs> he's crazy. Well, I like the part where um, uh, Seuss is like, no, I'm a man in a pig's body. And then Old Man McGucket says, that's what they all say. I'm like, oh, God. McGucket, what have you done? Oh, don't be surprised. I'm not, but still, I'm horrified. The cops follow, and they're there, and basically everyone's switching bodies, and it's all just a big shit show. True. Ah. Oh, no! Then again, I like having muscles for once. Wow, now I have tiny little doll hands! Everybody look. Swap back in three, two... Oh, go! Go back! I want to deep fry your ears! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> It's just like watching stuff fight. <laughs> um, yeah, Stan, Stan's kind of in the, in the, the background. He's uh, kind of uh, examining some stuff that he took from the room, which was interesting. Um, so, because that happens in the background. Um, I'm trying to figure out what happens next. Everything and Everything. Nothing. Yes. Well, every, so eventually everyone gets back into their own bodies. Um, Dipper and Mabel uh, kind of talk. And then we find out that, you know, neither of them really wanted to move to another room in the first place. Uh, but they all just kind of got angry and with stuff. And, and Dipper was upset because Mabel was hanging out a lot with Grenda and Candy. And he yeah. felt a little lonely because he doesn't have any friends. Mm-hmm. There yeah. has to be some, like, weird Crowdy Falls conspiracy group that of 12-year-olds that he could hang out with. You would think, right? You would think. Um... So, so that um, means yes, and you're just not going to say anything. No, it means it means no, but I know something. Okay, um, that's fair. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I just remembered an episode, and I'm so excited for when we get to that episode. Uh, they decide to get rid of the carpet. Uh, they're going to get rid of that thing. Um, and so it comes tonight, and they realize that they are in different rooms, but they're kind of lonely like that. All around me is our familiar things. Oh no, where's this? So, uh, Dipper goes back to the to the attic and he asks if they can have a sleepover. Yep. And it's nice. Yep. Um, so, meanwhile, uh, part of Seuss's side plot was uh, Waddles as Seuss uh, came across a, a pretty tourist lady. And apparently, whatever happened, it led to them, her agreeing to marry him. Hey, I've been thinking. And the answer is yes! <laughs> Wait, I don't remember anything about. Mm, 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 mm. There's a lot of kissing in these episodes. Um, but then, once they're changed and back into the correct bodies, she cries, says, "We can't do this anymore because you've changed." And Seuss has no idea what's going on. But he did get to kiss her. There's a lot of kissing kiss. in these episodes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. So that's that episode. What'd you think? It was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. I'm trying to think of. Any interesting things? Because I feel like this episode is interesting because it's it's pretty fillery. Like not a lot goes on, but um, there is some kind of stuff going in the background, like um, some some stuff in the 
like that room, that secret room there, that kind of implies some other stuff has has happened or like going on or just you know, I just opens think, like, the door for some other. The stuff. 1982 thing seemed interesting. Yes, there was also like a prism in there that seemed cool. There was a prism. Um, oh, there was a. Um, I don't know how much Illuminati is involved in this, in this show. Mm-hmm. There was a uh, a pair of, of glasses that was next to the calendar that Stan uh, takes and he's like holds it behind his back. <laughs> Experiment 78? Uh-oh. Uncle Stan, what is this place? I don't know. Just another room I gotta clean up now. This carpet is amazing. For part of the thing. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. So, I remember when that episode first came out, and I was like, well, I wonder if that's anything. Well, I know, we know Stan knows something. So, Stan knows something. So, this is like one of those cool um, background things that happens, and you're like, I feel like this means something, but I don't know what and it means And somebody's gonna say to you, that's a spoiler. That sit. Somebody, Sarah, Kaylin, whatever. Somebody's gonna be like, I, Kaylin, I can't believe you just spoiled something. I didn't spoil shit. She doesn't know what that means. I don't. Um, <laughs> oh, I'll know by the end of the so, season, and I will know by the end of the show. Yes. Let's see. Don't read the read the wiki to this page because there are spoilers. In Wasn't it. planning on it. Um, There's so many videos I skip because I know I sh- because I know I'm gonna get spoiled. Mm-hmm. The name of the episode refers to the Latin phrase carpe diem, which what? means seize the day. I bet what? you didn't know that. What? I am so shocked. Because mm-hmm. if I remember anything from Latin, it's that. Oh, the omelet that Mabel makes for Stan in the style of his face has the original Fez design, not the redesign. From the- Ooh, I wonder what kind of omelet that was. I don't know. It looked kind of good. I'd go for an omelet. Um, yeah, that's really it. All right, well, uh, Dipper in Mabel's body keeps the lines around his eyes, which I noticed that Dipper has... Um, like extra lines on his eyes. Is he tired? Probably. <laughs> He's he, he stays up all night reading. That's so. true. Um, and but it's a summer. Can he sleep in? Mm-hmm. Like I know he technically works at the, the mystery shack, but like I don't know those hours. Mm-hmm. So also the um the way their hair is drawn is different when they are switched bodies because it's more in line with the style that they're drawn in. Um, How does that work? I don't, I don't, I don't know if they like that. Cause like that doesn't really work when you switch bodies. Like it's just your brain switching. Unless like they do it. It's just like, it's just a little bit. It's so it's just enough where you can tell it's different, but not too different, which I think is a really interesting artistic choice there. Okay. Um, um, all right. And then the cryptogram for this episode, as I said, the one that was in the book about puberty and the one at the end of the episode, uh, translates to, but who stole the capers, which is referring to the book that, uh, Dipper was reading called The Sibling Brothers and the Case of the Caper Case Caper. So somebody steal some olives? Is that what capers are? I have no idea. You never seen like it's like it's like those like little like olive like things? I don't like olives. Neither do I, but I know that they exist. You have them with like your bagel brunches. No. Uh well according to dictionary um my dictionary on my thing. No. Oh the cooked um, and pickled flower buds of a bramble-like southern yeah. European shrub used to flavor food. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. I learned something, guys. All right. Any other thoughts on that episode? Nah. All right. Sounds good. You know what we can do, though? I think comment it's, it's, corner. It's time for the comment corner. I feel like I should make, like, a title thing for that, but, like, I'm not really sure how to use texting in Premiere. It's, it's, yeah. it's weird. It, it can get... Well, if you use the... um. Yeah, I use the legacy title tool because I don't like the new graphics tool. So let's get to a comment corner. This is the part where we read your comments because uh, we could always use some more, but we have a backlog here. So we have a lot to get through today. Yay. I might not be able to get through all of That's a lot. I'm not sure I'll get through all of them. Um, but if we don't get through yours today, we'll try to get through them the next time. Unless we forget. Unless we forget. Which we'll might happen. So this one is um, from our Irrational Treasure. Um, We're still in that episode? We had a lot of comments on the episode, which I think is great. Okay. I think that means we did a good job. Or a terrible job. Or both. So this comment, it comes from Magic Dog, who says, William Henry Harrison had the shortest term of any president, dying of illness 31 days into his term. Yeah. Or did he? According to this episode, those 31 days were actually Quentin Tremblay's term. William Henry Harrison replaced him in the history books. No, William Henry Harrison was technically a president. Yeah. But it was, but like that would no, no, that doesn't work in the timeline. So, because Andrew Jackson and then Quentin Tremblay and then Martin Van Buren. I forget when William Henry Harrison was the president. Um, because then if that was the case, then Quentin Tremblay would be a president. He wouldn't be a half president. Oh. I just ruined somebody's comment. Well, that's hey, that well, that's Gravity Falls canon. So that's more like people who wrote Gravity Falls got that wrong. 
Um, oh, William Henry Harrison was the ninth president. Yeah. So he was, so. Um, so it wouldn't have worked. Listen. Gravity Falls. Um, <laughs> so, Magic Dog, I like your comment. I that's like cool. it. I'm just. That's. And I like that theory, but like. No, I think that's, that's how it. Because we said, like, Quentin Tremblay would have been in between Andrew Jackson and Martin Van Buren. Yeah. So. Who was, who was in between them? Nobody. What? Oh. No, he would have been. He would have been. He said eight. And, was it eight and a half? Yeah. So William Henry Harrison was the ninth. Martin Van Buren was the eighth. So it would have been between so the two. In between the two of them. So. But then there's then. But that still wouldn't work. Cause then why? Wow, because then Quentin Tremblay would have been the ninth president, and then they replaced him with William Henry Harrison. Mm-hmm. Is and eight then, and a half. I does that kind of work? It kind of works. All right. The trick is not to think about it. That's true. Um. Also, on our Time Traveler's Pig Review, a Magic Dog says, uh, Nah, I think Lovecraft was just racist. We talk about Lovecraft being anti-Semitic. I could have sworn I read he was anti-Semitic. I think, yeah, I read that too. You might be right. Uh, he, or, he's, or, you know, he's both. Um, yeah, you can always be both. Okay, so he was like, oh, so he was like a white supremacist. So basically, you just hate anyone who's not white. Oh, what's uh, he, he like? Says his, his, his wife was Jewish, and Wikipedia says he wrote in praise of Hispanics and Jews. Nothing here about sexism. Um, listen, if you follow a, uh, like, the white supremacist Wait, kind of white, style. Wait, he's a white supremacist, but he praised Spanish and Jewish? What? But, but, but basically, I mean. So he, so he, so he wasn't anti-Semitic. Cause he, oh, I have an article here. Wait, I'm confused. Um, I mean, I don't think he, he called himself any of those things. No, no, but, like, he said he praised Spanish and Jews? That's what this comment says. But listen, you can make... Oh, the comment. I thought he said history said something. Like, that doesn't make... No, no. That's what and the, he married, the comment says. Was he, and he was married to a Jew? Yeah. Did he know that? Yes. Okay. But listen, you can... <laughs> you can be married to somebody that's still kind of not like the uh. race or group as a whole. So he was like... If you read some of like his background stuff... I have an article here. Um, but if you read some of his background stuff, yeah, he kind of, he's like a white Didn't he say like some, like, weird quotes? I don't have time to get into some of those weird quotes. Anyway, so this is, let's see, got some more comments here. This one is from our Fight Fighters review from Shorn Force, who sent in those um, links to some good dipper hats last time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, says, this is one of my favorite favorite earlier episodes due to all the references. If I recall correctly, the Konami code gave you 99 lives for Contra. Um, so Konami code was the one, the, um, like in the episode, you know, where you had to go like back, right back. Like that's kind of what that is a reference to. Also some more video game references you may have missed are the car bonus stage from street fighter. And the go message was common in side scroller arcade games, particularly the one, Ones that were based on various properties: X Men, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Simpsons, etc. The there are some Gravity Falls video games that are official or fan made. They may have spoilers or be incomplete, though. All right. Ah, thanks for the info. Yep. Um, I have a comment from James Wilson who um, makes a comment from our Dipper versus Manlius reaction review, and it's just a reference to something we say there, so it makes zero sense out of context. Um, <laughs> So I, I, I can't understand this comment because I'm like, I don't know what you're referencing. Um, can you give timestamps, please? What does it say? It says, dot, 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 and lost his virginity to Stifler's mom and the other guy fucked a pie. Gravity Falls. Gravity Falls. Oh, no, because for some reason I was talking about American Pie in that episode and I was saying, yeah. telling you what happened. Right. I forget, I forget why we were talking. I forget why that got brought up. Oh, you're oh, quoting. Jennifer Coolidge. You're quoting us. Oh, yes. No, yes. talking about, no, because Jennifer Coolidge did it. She was in American Pie. <laughs> oh wait no you're actually just qu- straight quoting us that's really good yeah yeah oh, i said you. that there you have such good quotes i love your quotes <laughs> i'm literally just talking about american pie gravity falls well it's i'm well i'm glad somebody's getting appreciation out of our like gravity falls bit because that's sometimes that's know. like we're one continuing bit and like i'm really proud of that that i'm just like all right let's do that and we'll add in the bit it's like all right this is between the sidebar Cause I like how, cause I kind of took it from like junk food cinema because like they'll say sidebar and then they have like sidebar music right. and they go into their sidebar and then they say Stargrove and they play the like, Stargrove music which mm-hmm. I don't know what that is a reference to honestly and then they get back into the what the podcast was like the episode right so I just like that Garden Falls, um, so thank you James you have a lot of comments on us we may not read all of them on the show today but thank you we do see them thank you, um, the guy who wants to dub comics, uh commented on our little dipper review that says it's a gravity falls time 
It's a Gravity Falls time. It's a Gravity Falls time, yes. Thank you. You always say, you're one of our first commenters on a video, so I'm glad that you enjoy watching them when they come out. Mm -hmm. We'll try to make sure they always come out on time, which we do. We're actually pretty good with that. We're getting better at it. The, the, there might be like some other stuff that's not our fault with like disputes. Uh, filing disputes and all that kind of stuff. It's fun. But for the most part with us, like it, it ends up fine. Yeah. For now. Please. We're being nice. Uh, oh, Wombat Aldebaran is back. Ooh, this is from like... Less than a day ago. Hey, how's it going? Well, that episode came out less than a day ago from this recording. We have a good amount of comments here. Hey, hello. It says, uh, Gideon has one of the most punchable faces in recent cartoon animation. True. You right? True. You right? True. Um, And then another comment from Shorn Force on the um, Little Dipper review that says, in one of the 107 facts videos, I believe they said Mabel is five minutes older than Dipper and doesn't let him forget it. Uh, Also... Wumbo should totally be in more shows. Thank you. You are so right. Um, Grey Delilah is awesome. Icky, Vicky, Daphne Blake, oh, she, she was Black Vicky? Canary, and so much more. Yep. She was Vicky? She's so many. There's, Who, there's so Also, many. who's Black Canary? That sounds familiar, but I can't. Um, a DC character. Is that so, from, like, the Teen Titan show? No. Oh. Um, I think probably. Is that the version from uh, Batman Brave and the Bold? Maybe. There's probably in a few things. Okay. Because I'm like, that name sounds familiar, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, they also say Stand from the Future isn't a bad theory. So good job, Dara. Uh, I, I agree. It's not a bad theory at all. Um, <laughs> Wait, when did I say Stand from the Future? That's when... Oh, um, I remember when I said that, though. Like, was that in that episode? Yeah. We were talking about different theories. Um, oh, yeah. And you said, you're like, a Stand from the Future? And I was like... I was like... Uh, well, but then I also, said, I, think, I also said he was Ash from Evil Dead. Yes, you did also say that. Oh, my that, God. That'd be so cool if Bruce Campbell was in Gravity Falls. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Um, also, uh, why do they have a doggy door? Do they even have a dog? And then Sean first says, dot, 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 not anymore. That sounds terrifying. Did they eat the dog? Did they, what did they do with the dog? Wait, now you have to tell us. What did they do with the dog? No, they have Stitch. Oh. No, Gideon doesn't deserve Stitch. Oh, Gideon's house. It was dog. Gideon's house, yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's, um, no, that's why Stitch ran away. Um, so, oh, and all this, they also say no trivia and codes. I guess we forgot those in that episode. Sorry about that. That was my fault. Sometimes I get excited and then yeah, because I don't normally like no. That was your uh, okay. That's, you added that that one. So. Yeah, so I just didn't have them in there, just like straight up. Um, we apologize. That is a spoiler from James Wilson, so we're skipping over that. Um, did he write spoiler? He did write a spoiler. It didn't write spoiler on it. I think because we just set that rule, so that's fine. That's Remember, write spoiler alert, mm-hmm. and then your spoiler comment. Please, thank and you. I won't read it. Um, this is on our Rational Treasure, James Wilson comments, uh, should have known Philly after the tasty cake discussion in The Inconveniencing. <laughs> and then he just says, Scrapple. I was like, yes, we know what that is. I used um, to love Scrapple. He says, never been east of Columbus in my life. Come to the East Coast, we're fun. Um, I, I liked Scrapple when I ate red meat, but that was also, like, the bad parts of sausage. Yeah, I actually never had Scrapple, because I'm like, a fake Pennsylvanian, apparently. <laughs> no, um, you were born here, but then you moved around a bunch. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pork roll person, and people say pork roll is, I guess that's more of a Jersey thing. Um, but a pork roll? Pork roll. Yeah, because we just call, I just call it, like, pigs in a blanket? No, that's different. Oh. No, pork roll is, um, like, Taylor ham. It's like the, in like the red box. Well, it's ham. You don't eat ham. I don't eat ham, but um, what do you call? Do you well, you've been to my house for breakfast before. You've seen me eat pork roll. It's like the it's like cam that's like a little circle, but it's oh, not I thought bologna. that was oh, I thought that was, I thought that was Canadian bacon. No, uh-huh. it's different. Um, it's it's pork roll for the uninitiated. I guess it's pork roll for like southeast Pennsylvania and also Jersey, um, and then everyone else calls it like Taylor ham, but I don't call it Taylor ham. It's pork roll, so it's good. I don't even oh, eat we know much. you're from Philly. Like, how do you say, what do you call like a sandwich? Uh, mm-hmm. not like a not like a sandwich with like normal bread, but like in like a roll. A bread. hoagie, exactly. It's a hoagie. Um, except that subway. Except that subway. Then, then it's, it's a, a sub. subway sub. But so, yep. Thank you for Scrap. <laughs> thank you for realizing that. Uh, yes, we are. We are from the Philly area. It's so funny, though. I find this really funny because, like, we can't say we're from, like, we're from Philly. Because if we said we we're from Philly, people who actually live in the city of Philadelphia would probably murder us. Um, Why? Uh, people get, like, 
Like, yeah, but we don't. I think you could say like you live around Philly and live like in the Philly, Philadelphia area. Um, James also, also a couple more comments says, uh, in Time Traveler's Pig, it says, thank you for going back and checking out Blendon. Looking forward to Bobby Renzotti. Uh, and then comments, the uh, it works for pigs, which we're, that's a quote um, we'll get to in um, uh, two episodes from now. Mm-hmm. So that doesn't mean anything to dare right now. But it's not really like a huge spoiler, so I don't mind saying it. Okay. Um, and then also says in the Little Dipper review, Dipper is technically the little brother, Mabel being five minutes older. Alpha twin, uh, the millimeter just means Mabel is tall in Canada and the rest of the world. <laughs> oh, throwing uh, straight on the U.S. I mean, you're you're right. It's so much easier to like figure out measurements in like metric system wise. Yeah. But like, yeah, like at least like with like the math and stuff, when you had to like add up in like millimeters and centimeters, like it was so much easier. Like, yeah, because like ten centimeters is a uh, ten millimeters is a centimeter. Correct. So like just goes like that. It's yeah. so much easier. Which just makes sense. But uh, so we you so you're right. I mean, like you right. You right. Um, but it's America. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, uh, and then he says uh, Stan is kind of Ash Williams. So yay. So somebody people are really liking your um like your Evil Dead theory here. Uh, okay. Well, that's all the comments we have. For today, uh, thank you for leaving comments, guys. I Yay! appreciate everyone coming out and leaving us some comments. We like to talk with and you. And we forgot like it. And we forgot your comment. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> we have no excuses. Just sorry. Um, if you left a comment and you're like, hey, I didn't hear my comment yet. Well. Wow. Um, we do record these in advance. So if you left it like yesterday, buddy, you got time. Wait a couple weeks. Yesterday from when this episode comes out? Right. Yeah. Then you got to, Yeah. Yeah. If you left this episode yesterday from when we're recording this, then that's just our bad. Um, but I did read all the recent ones, so you it does think, take we some think time. We did. It does take some time for these to come out, just because we do like to space things out. Um, so you know, we'll get to it. And if not, oops. <laughs> Remember, guys, Patreon, and then we'll get better at this. Yeah, that's that's a good motivator. Listen, I know we suck, but also give us money, maybe. Um, we're not that bad. There's worse. We don't. I think we are great. You know, Logan Paul exists. <laughs> you are so right <laughs> you're so right um anyway i think you know what there i think that's um all the time we have for today yeah i think we should we should end this because we've been going for a very we long time really we should this has been uncomfortable we talked about long. gravity falls and american and like, girl dolls literally everything else <laughs> so uh, i think that's all the time we have for today on that please note. let's um, go so, if you like us, if you think that we're swell, um, there's a couple things you could do. We are on a variety of social medias. We are on Facebook. We are Witty Clothes Productions. We are on Twitter at Witty Clothes. Uh, go and follow us. Tweet at us. Leave us some comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you're watching this on YouTube, we are, you know, we're on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, you can, like, subscribe to us. Um, comment on the videos because we do read those as you just witnessed. Um, you can like those videos or dislike them. Preferably like them, but hey. I get it. Um, I like to dislike Rachel. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. Actually, what was like the worst? The worst one was like that season three finale, Legend of Korra. Wasn't the season three finale? It was like the first one we put out because that's when they were like, "Yeah, talk too much." And I'm like, "Listen, we figured it out." Um, <laughs> we kind of figured. No, it, but, but wasn't that one like a hundred something dislikes to so like eighty or like a hundred likes to so like eighty? It wasn't a majority. Yeah. No, I know. I don't think we have a video that's like half this, like half like. Hmm. Yeah. So. You know, we don't suck that bad. Anyway, so um, Twitter, YouTube. Yes, follow us on YouTube. We're Witty Close Productions. Uh, if you want to take us on the go, we're on iTunes. This is yeah. a podcast. Um, and maybe by the time this is out, I'll actually be up to date with that because uh, somebody is falling behind. But to be fair, um, I have no excuses. So you can. We are on iTunes. We are Witty Close Productions on there. Um, follow us. Download our things. Um, listen to them on the go. Listen to them in your car, because that's what I do. I have a very long commute in the morning. Um, and then if you want to throw some money our way, we are on Patreon, and we are uh, witty clothes on there. And I yep, think- and uh, we'll uh, have perks once we get enough patrons, and we'll actually update that page. Yeah, that's um, great. So... <laughs> So I think that is officially all the time we have today. Thank God. Join us next time as we are winding down season one of Gravity Falls. I can't believe it. Um, with episode 17, Boys Crazy, and episode 18, uh, Land Before Swine. Until then, I'm Kelly Clothier. I'm really good for, concerned about that episode, Land Before Swine. What the hell? I'm Kelly Clothier. 
Peace. I'm th- power of women. <laughs> All right, peace. <laughs> Am I in your body? <laughs> <laughs> This is the appropriate reaction. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. I do kind of like that we're like, I don't know where I thought this episode was going. Yeah. But I'm glad I went this way.